Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, has been heavily praised for her role in highlighting the importance of early childhood experiences. Related articles Kate has been heavily involved in a landmark study on early childhood and aims to raise awareness of the importance of a child's first five years. The Duchess will deliver a keynote speech video call later today, but royal fans have already praised Kate for doing such important work. Kate has made early years development one of the main pillars of her public role since she first joined the royal family. Social media users have praised the Duchess for her pivotal role in the area, with one person describing her as the queen-in-waiting. Others congratulated the royal for doing fantastic work and several users said well done for discussing such a pertinent issue. Kate has been the driving force behind a royal foundation study that has revealed a discrepancy between scientific and parental understanding of the significance of early years development. More than half, a million people took part in the royal foundation's five big questions on the under. Fives poll, which was carried out by Ipsos Mori and produced the largest ever response from the public to a survey of its kind. The 57 page report found that just one in four people recognize the key importance of the first five years of a child's life, something the Duchess wants to change. The Duchess warns that poor care during the first five years of a child's life can result in family breakdown, addiction, and homelessness. In a keynote speech to be delivered at a Royal Foundation Forum on Friday, the Duchess will say, Over the last decade I have met people from all walks of life. I have seen that experiences such as homelessness, addiction, and poor mental health are often grounded in a difficult childhood. But I have also seen how positive protective factors in the early years can play a crucial role in shaping our futures. The early years are not simply about how we raise our children. They are in fact about how we raise the next generation of adults. They are about the society we will become. Kensington Palace said next year the Duchess will announce ambitious plans to help elevate the importance of early childhood. The Queen showed her support for Kate's Five Big Questions project, a mass survey on early childhood, via social media. The monarch's official Twitter account, The Royal Family, shared a video showing Kate revealing one of the five main insights gathered from the Five Big Questions survey. The Royal Family social media account, which represents the Queen as well as other working royals who don't have their personal Twitter handle, added, The Duchess of Cambridge is sharing five big insights from landmark research on the early years, commissioned by the Royal Foundation and conducted by Ipsos Mori. Visit at Kensington Royal to see more. Kate discussed the findings of a study into children's mental health in a new video. She wore a blue dress with an unusually low neckline for the royal, who often wears high neck dresses. The double, breasted tuxedo style dress, with full length sleeves, featured a matching dark blue belt with a gold buckle. The look appeared crafted to draw attention to Kate's pendant necklace, a shining gold disc. There may well be good reason for this. As Kate drew attention to the plight of young children in the UK, she wore a tribute to her own three children. The necklace is made by Daniela Draper, and is the Midnight Moon Necklace. The £1,070 necklace is engraved with the initials of her three children, G, L, C. These stand for George, Louis and Charlotte. The Queen will go on to the bitter end instead of stepping aside as monarch due to her 21st birthday vow and her coronation oath, according to a royal expert. Pot Save the Queen is hosted by Anne Gripper and features Daily Mirror royal editor Russell Myers. The pair discussed claims that the Queen might decide to relinquish her duties when she is 95, and have Prince Charles rule in a regency. Both felt like this is highly unlikely and Mr Myers said he never believed she would step down due to the oath she made that she would serve her whole life, arguing that stepping down would go against everything. He said, I've never thought that that would happen. Because of the oath dash I can't repeat it verbatim but the oath essentially is until my dying day, as long as I am alive, then I will serve God and the people and therefore, it would go against anything. I mean, we are quite a different monarchy in that sense. And I think because of her global standing as well, she will go through to the bitter end. And long may she reign, because I can't even contemplate what it will be like. I mean, this is my brain working over time because I will be so busy in this period dash however. I think we've got a few years left. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, has been attacked by online trolls over a milestone project after she released the findings of her five big question survey. Twitter users lashed out at Kate as she prepares to deliver a keynote speech on the biggest study on the early years ever carried out in the UK. The Duchess of Cambridge was accused by some social media users of not having the right background to speak on the matter, 
Despite having dedicated the past 10 years to deepen her knowledge of this topic, other Twitter users attacked Kate for scolding them in a sneak peek video in which she revealed only one in four of those polled recognized the specific importance of the first five years of a child's life. Twitter user KBF said, Why is a member of the royal family involving themselves in the way people raise their children? It's none of her business. The royals and the state need to stay out of people's lives. She has a degree in the history of art not child psychology. Another user, named Puce Collar, said, does she have any educational background, a bachelor's slash master's degree slash training, to lecture a nation? Parental loneliness has rocketed during the coronavirus pandemic, according to a study led by the Duchess of Cambridge. The proportion of parents of children aged 5 and under experiencing loneliness increased dramatically from 38% before the COVID-19 crisis to 63%. The early years study found parents in the most deprived areas were more than twice as likely to say they feel lonely often or always 13% as those in the least deprived parts of the country, 5%. The research commissioned by the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and carried out by Ipsos Mori also suggests that parents are now twice as likely to feel uncomfortable asking for help. A third, 34%, of parents said they felt uncomfortable seeking help and support for how they were feeling, compared with 18% who said this before the outbreak. Researchers interviewed 3,733 UK adults between December 2019 and January 2020, and 1,000 parents of children aged 0,5 online in October, to identify any impacts of the pandemic. The Duchess of Cambridge was joined with the Managing Director of Public Affairs at Hipsos Maury Kelly Beaver. During the meeting, Kate helped unveil findings of a UK study on the early years of children. Kate opted for a timeless look in a slim-fit white blazer from Zara. The white waffle blazer from Zara was first worn by the Royal in 2016 on a tour of Canada. The smart casual garment had pockets on each side and a sole gold button on the front which Kate left undone. While the jacket has not been available to buy from Zara for many years, it can be picked up on eBay for as little as £12. The Duchess of Cambridge wore the look over a simple black top that was tucked into black tailored trousers. She wore a pair of the gold small molten hoop earrings from Miss Soma, which are on sale for £48.75, reduced from the original price of £65.